my own window open. Okay, sweet. Oh, okay, let's not make that giant. There we are. That should be viewable. Hokey. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, window. Let's not rapidly expand here. Linking stuff around right now. Okay. I should be audible. I should be clear. If I'm not, uh, then there is a mistake. But I'm pretty sure I'm I'm audible. Should be very very clear. My terrible lisp and my speech impediment problems that speech therapy could never fix. And uh, getting ready for Sonic Three and Knuckles. As you know, what else would I be doing besides? I'm actually mad. Hitbox doesn't have a Sonic 3 and Knuckles game on their list. It's just Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles. Like, did they forget that Sonic 3 and Knuckles was a game that you would get if you locked on the cart? Yeah, like, I, they don't have it on their game list. It's weird. They have Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, but they don't have Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And I tried looking for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles and the shortened form of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but it's not actually there. Unless I missed it or something, but I went through all the hot, like, ways to track it down and, uh, nothing came of it. So, literally no Sonic 3 and Knuckles. My co-commentator literally passed out. It's not his fault. Just life things. So he's waking up and getting ready. So I might have to add him in later or... Or something but um yeah sup Amadeus oh, you made a username or something or maybe you had one before but so I'm streaming stuff whatever you get Sega games I guess <laughs> that's just a rule I, I suppose I should probably put something on for preview oh I know I have some stupid pictures on my hard drive I could put on here an overlay under the uh, the text. Let's see, what do I got? Let me see if I have anything hilarious. Some great screen caps or something. It has to be something just in my folder here. Oh, we're not going to give me media previews? They're actually going to expect me to trust, uh, oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. There we go. It's not even Sega related, but... Okay. Silver Surfer game is, uh... I don't know what to say about it. It's actually, uh... 
it is decent if you think like objectively, but I think it's really bad when you compare it to every other shoot 'em up game. Cause like Turbo Button, like there's Turbo is all sorts of other stuff that makes Silver Surfer worse. Like dying in one hit isn't abnormal, but the lack of checkpoints, regeneration, meaningful power ups, cause you get like fire power upgrades and some occasional multi shot, but it is basically like a poor man's NES shooter, but the music is so good that like it warrants existing. Like that's the only reason Silver Surfer is allowed to be on this earth as a video game because the music is just good enough to warrant it. That's the the legitimate reason for it. I, I guess I can start now. I think I'm pretty ready for it. So let's get the Sonic shit on the road. Some Sonic Three. I practiced like two hours of this game, so I'm fully certified to say I'm 100% ready. Uh, it should be nice and easy. That being said, uh, I'm fully prepared for a technical mishap or something. But... Wow, it actually remembered my, uh, my setup here. Cool. Alright. So I'm using Sonic 3 Complete, which just compiles Sonic and Knuckles together with various bug fixes. Very good ROM hack. So I'm just gonna start a new file with Knuckles. That's the character I'm gonna be using. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He has no problem with anything. So the storyline to the Knuckles side of this game is that it takes place after Sonic's. And Egg Robo is basically just being a giant douchebag, and that's the real plot. You just gotta go stop him, because he's being a jerk. Very deep lore. I actually wonder if they're gonna give Knuckles his own little side story in the new one coming out, too. I don't really expect that. Alright. So I'm gonna be going for all the emeralds, including all the super emeralds. So that should be interesting. These bonus stages are, uh, kind of interesting, too. I like them the most out of any of the Sonic bonus stages. Everybody knows what the hell Blue Spheres is. Pretty sure even people that don't play Sonic know what this is. My friend referred to it as, uh, rather unceremoniously, the, uh, Blue Balls minigame. You know, they're, they're clearly not balls, they're spheres, which are very different. And since I'm so fantastic at these, we're never gonna mess up once. Hold me to that. If I mess up one of these bonus stages, uh, somebody call me out and say I'm talking shit when I can. But I'm pretty sure I can do all these without losing. <laughs> They're not! Like, any- any geometry mages, please. Like, if you play Symmetra in Overwatch or something, you probably know a lot about geometry. And, come on, fucking, her name's Symmetra. Like, you can tell me, it's, it's, spheres are different than balls. They're very different. Especially when you think, like, like curvature and perspective. But, like, I digress. Um, are we gonna get an extra life from this? Come on. Come on, yeah! Look at that. Excellent. I'm gonna need, like, all the continues I can get, because I die a lot in this game. No, I don't. Okay, so really cool story about Knuckles in this game. Uh, back when this game first came out, uh, well, actually. Yeah, when this game came out, the original version of this game, Knuckles would always have yellow socks and be kind of pink. Because, like, there was palette limitation issues going on. Like, mad palette limitation issues. Because if his socks weren't yellow, it would actually, like, color the HUD differently for some reason. So they actually had to make some color compromises. And that's the life-changing story of Knuckles. I also don't know why they give you invincibility for this, because you can't even win this boss fight. Like, right here, you can't do anything. It doesn't matter what happens. Oh! Wow, he didn't die. So you, you really can't kill it at all. Like, there's... 
nothing you can do. I don't want to do that. If you go to a bonus stage, you lose your shield. I don't really feel like losing this. Even though I'm about to lose it anyways. So it's really the dumbest decision, but whatever. I don't need any more rings. Alright. Second blue spheres. Look at that. Very difficult. These are probably the easiest Sonic bonus stages too. Like, I, I feel like pointing that out. They're pretty easy. Even if you have no idea what the layouts are, you can kind of figure them out as you play, because it doesn't actually get fast until you take too long and you pick up your shit and get going. But, like, it starts out nice and slow, so you can just kind of figure it out. It's really not that bad. Some of the later ones can be kind of annoying, but they're mostly just long. And if you get lost, it's pretty bad, too, because it's kind of hard to tell every area apart. You kind of have to know where you're going. Especially if you're doing like perfect clears and getting all the ring bonuses, because you remove the spheres, so you can't even use that for layout guidance. Bit of a minor issue. I should also note 50 rings in this area gives you one up. Or was it a continue? I don't remember. Whatever. Specifics that I don't care about. I was gonna say that I just ran in a circle. And we're gonna leave that there so I can get the perfect. I'm really picky about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a continue. Some of these things have a lot of rings, too. I should know. There's just a friggin' ton of them. Look at how fast you go, though. Look at this. This gets really fast, but it's still pretty easy. Now... There is one reason I'm kind of glad they never remade this game for like iPhone and stuff. This this in 60 FPS would look really weird, and also be really hard. Like legitimately really really hard. Like playing this at a smoother frame rate than the Genesis. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. Like I played Sonic One's bonus stages with uh 60 FPS on the iPhone port or the Android port, and like seeing that kind of rotation made me want to actually vomit, and I almost did when I was playing it. I was like, I had like, legitimate motion sickness playing Sonic 1. But uh, that's the only time that's ever happened in a Sonic game to me before. It, it's pretty bad. Like, I'd probably talk about it more than I should, but it le legitimately made me ill. I had to take a break after I did it. And, like, it's just bad. Dad, don't, don't do that. Alright, we're gonna take this useless bubble shield into this boss fight. It's not gonna protect me from anything, but I don't care. This guy's easy as shit. Very difficult boss. Oh, there's no item. Fuck. I messed up. I'm so good! Get a 1-up though? Come on. Another one up. Oh. I was hoping. I was pretty hopeful for like a one up or something for that. But I guess I didn't score enough. Oh yeah, I should note. Um, Knuckles does have different level layouts than Sonic and Tails as well. He jumps lower than both Sonic and Tails, and he can just power through walls and shit, like breakables, without having to spin dash into them. But he also has the glide and the wall climb, as everybody probably knows, and different level layouts. The bosses also actually have different patterns, too, for Knuckles. Usually just more attacks, more invul frames, you know, stuff like that. Not massive differences, but they do make the game a bit more challenging. Knuckles is the hard mode, after all. That's why I'm using him here for this one and not the ROM hack, which... Had, I'm going into blind, so I want to use a character that's easy to figure this stuff out with. Yeah, Knuckles is Knuckles. Ooh. Oh, okay. That was weird. Oh, 
Uh, I actually find that the lightning shield is one of the less good ones. Um, well, it's good for if you're getting rings, but... Bubble has the underwater breath, and there's more fire hazards in this game. So immunity to fire is actually a lot more useful, too. Like, lightning immunity doesn't really help you a whole lot. There's not a lot of enemies that use the thunder in this game. There's like 80 times more fire in this game. Alright, so here's a boss. Fun fact, the minute he shoots the bridge, you fall through it. Even if you like the part of the bridge isn't broken, you'll just fall down. So, that's why I get off it so early. Oh, fuck. Also, this boss shoots more against Knuckles than he does Sonic or Tails. I think it's four shots for Knuckles and like two for Sonic. Actually, no shield is best for Sonic because the Insta Shield is the most broken thing ever, and everybody that plays Smash Brothers should be happy that's not in the game. Sonic's Insta Shield is so broken, I, I can't even begin to explain it. It has invincibility and it like doubles the size of his jump hitbox. It's so good. You can't use it when you have a shield, so like. I usually avoid them with Sonic when I can, because the Insta Shield is just so good. Like, on top of doubling your hitbox, you get all those interval frames for it, so you can phase through projectiles. It's silly. If I ever use Sonic during this, like, Sonic game thon, I'll try and show it off. It's really dumb. It lets you poke through spike enemies. There is a lot of dumb shit that it can do. So, I think the story behind this level is literally just the people at Sega were like, we should try and make a water level that isn't shit, and then this level just happened, so... That's my personal story. Behind the game, anyways. Like, they just thought, it's about time we have a water level that's actually fun to play. Outside of, like, Aquatic Ruin, but that's barely a water level in my opinion. You don't even have to go in the water there. In this level, you are forced to do some water stuff, usually. But... It's really not that bad. I look completely different than how I sound. No joke. Um, it's funny. That's some piranhas? I've never seen them jump out of the water like that. That guy's gonna shoot. Eh, yeah, gotcha. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, he's gonna shoot. I'm looking for secrets in the walls, but I'm not finding any. Also, this game does give you a lot of water shields underwater, so it's kinda cool. You do generally not have to worry about running out of air in this level. Like, all the stuff that makes, like, every other Sonic water level annoying is not present here at all. It's really easy, actually. Ooh, bonus stage. Do it. Do it. In my test run, I never actually found this ring. These are kind of dead air, by the way. These are really short. Usually not much to talk about. But yeah, you can put Knuckles in those situations, yes. Yeah. It's very interesting, too. I might try and do the final boss with Knuckles. Actually, no, Knuckles has his own final boss, so... It's just bad. And Knuckles' final boss is pretty fucking cool, so... I'll have to show that off for sure. I don't think Tails gets the final boss though like that. I think he's the only one that doesn't. He always gets screwed, man. He's playable in Sonic CD, he doesn't even get an ending. He's playable in this game where he was natively playable, and he doesn't even get a final boss. Poor guy. Can't catch a break. That's what happens when you're the sidekick. But it'd be like if Luigi, like a playthrough with Luigi and lost levels, 
And you got to the last Bowser fight, but instead of saving Peach, you just found another Toad and it said, Do it with Mario instead, asshole. Like, that's really what it is. Like, there's no princess, just a Toad. Do it again. Pick the actual protagonist. Oh, fuck! Well, there we go, I fucked it up. You can call me on my shit now, I fucked it up. There it is. And I fucked it up in the stupidest way, too. Because my thumb slipped off the deep head. There it is. Ruin. I'm gonna just pack it up here, stream's over. You see, to fight this boss, I have a strat for this boss. If I can get it to work, it'll look really cool. This boss is the, uh, Turbo Ball? I don't know what the fuck this thing is. It's got, like, are those missiles? I don't know. I'm actually very unclear as to what this boss is. Alright, here we go. There we go. Sweet. This thing got that. Can I get a one up for that? Okay. Cool. I don't even know what that boss is. It's confusing. And here's the obligatory uh, pressure section. It's actually way easier with Knuckles because you don't have to worry about spin dashing through the breakables, you can just run through them. You don't even have to try it. You just don't have to try it all. Sonic actually has to work here. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Yeah, I pretty much said everything I have to say about this zone. Here's some weird looking hands to throw you around. Real cool. I guess I could talk more about the game. This is a pretty cool game. I think this game was one of the first games to have what was, like, t like sold as a backwards compatible cartridge. Because the cartridge for Sonic and Knuckles lets you lock other games on top of it. And, like, if you did that with Sonic 2, you could play Knuckles in Sonic 2, which is pretty cool. Uh, you'd get, like, a whole cartridge full of Blue Spear levels with Sonic 1. Uh, if you lock Sonic 3 on it, you get Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But I, I think it's one of the only game cartridges to do that. There might have been like one or two others, but it was probably the most notable one that did that. And that kind of stuff was succeeded by like games remembering your save file from another game or something like that. That's kind of cool. It's a pretty good deal too, especially if you bought Sonic 2, because you technically got like Knuckles and Sonic 2, which is basically its own game. He doesn't have any exclusive routes or anything, but... You know, he, he's Knuckles. It's Knuckles and Sonic 2. Wouldn't be able to do that normally. What else? Oh yeah, Sonic and Kn Sonic 3 and Knuckles is like the product of uh, Sega development cycles, which is a uh, short form for hell, by the way. Because uh, Sega development cycles were uh, pretty bad. You generally got your shit budget pushed back and the games were rushed out usually. So I'm so, like, incredibly impressed that Sonic Mania even exists because... Or that they're even giving them the time to finish that damn thing, because, like... They could have just had Sonic Mania come out in, like, 2016 and made it kind of content there, but they didn't. Fuck! God damn it! I shouldn't even talk about shit like that. Just fuck up all these special stages. Because I'm so good at this video game. I got all four of those during my practice run. Absolutely not during when you actually stream it. Performance anxiety is a real thing, I guess. Watch, I'll get the hardest one first try, though. And, real, to be real, you really can't fuck up a lot with Knuckles. Because he doesn't get as much special rings as Sonic or Tails do, so... 
The more mistakes you make with knuckles like that, the worse it gets. It just adds up. It's pretty bad. Super 3D Noah's Ark is a game somebody bought for me on Steam. I think I've streamed it like one time. Maybe I'll do that again one day. Try and actually beat it. But I know the fucking goat, or whatever the boss was. I think, was it the kangaroo or something? It fucked me up, man. That boss was hard. I'm not really good at Wolfenstein, so Super 3D Noah's Ark was pretty difficult. Alright, there's like a secret ring somewhere around here, I think. Of course, my memory could be entirely shot. It might be, it, looks, it feels like it is. Oh wait, no, 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 no. No, it's right around here. Oh, climbing walls is so fun. Oh right, you actually have to do that here. Oh wait, no, it's not here. It's My bad. Here, like, one of the only forced, like, climbing sections in the game. Fuck! Oh god. This part's kind of annoying, too. It's a lot tighter than it looks, because if you land on top of those killer things, you get pulled back. There we go. Easy! I think this is the boss. I'm pretty sure it's the boss. Yep, it's the boss. Alright, so Sonic can normally just hit this guy with the insta-shield, because he can just jump up and hit him. But Knuckles has to put in work. You know, atypical story. That's literally like every boss in this game, versus Sonic, like... Knuckles just has to do what Sonic does, but more work. Can I hit him though? I think I'm on my way down. I can't see where I am. I flew up really high. That was like the slowest descent ever. Now I know you can actually just keep bouncing on his head if you time it right. But unfortunately I'm not, you know, doing good enough to do that. So. I think this cycle right here should be it though. Unless I fuck up, which is entirely possible. Because I'm streaming. There we go. Done! Marble Garden. Uh, fun story about this zone. When I first saw it, I freaked out and lost my shit. Because I saw the word marble, and for anybody who's played Sonic 1, Marble Zone is terrible. So I thought, oh, it's gonna suck. Because marble. You know, correlation, even the background and the, like, the stuff in the back looks like Marble Zone. And like... You know, I was kind of worried, but this is actually a pretty fun little level. Definitely not my favorite or anything, but it's not bad. It's got fake spikes in it, that's kinda cool. Yeah, there it is. It's fake spikes. I fucking punched out that wall by accident. I didn't even remember that was there. Alright, can I do this one? Let's find out. Can I not mess this up? It's really important that I don't, like, fuck this up so early, because it's entirely possible that I will. Pretty good so far. I actually think this palette is kind of ugly. I don't know what, what, like, it's like this ugly little washed out checkerboard. It looks kind of weird. To me, anyways. It's an ugly shade of purple. They're running out of colors. Well, you'd think they'd running out, but they, they're not. They have to 
decided that the ugly one would be perfect for this. Oh, and by the way, this is still, like, my favorite 2D Sonic game out of all of them. Alright, now I gotta remember where those other ones were. Okay, that was, that was a little closer than I wanted it to be. Ah, here we go. No! Okay, that was almost horrible. But that was... Okay, we're done. Whew. Also, fun fact. Uh, this Sonic 3 Complete Pack... Uh, I have a configuration thing set up, so where we actually play the zones in their intended order. Because Flying Battery was supposed to be in Sonic 3. So this act Flying Battery will show up here in the Sonic 3 part of the game. Because uh, during the development cycle, uh, Flying Battery was supposed to be in Sonic 3. And... No, I'm really not. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself attractive. I mean, maybe? Wow, I didn't die to the Crusher! So... Everybody keep record, I didn't die to a fucking Crusher in this level yet. It's gonna happen eventually. You have these spinning tops. Oh, wow, he can actually knock you off. What an asshole. Wow, I suck. Alright. And spin. This is scary. Look at that one up. So actually, real talk, if there's any time you should play a Sonic game, it's when you're like high on like painkillers. Like if you ever prescribe something after surgery, you should like... Do it. I did it with Sonic 3 and this game actually, and it was fantastic. Let it be known that I played Cloud before anybody- well not anybody else. Okay. there was somebody that somehow got him before I did. Even though I had him in like the first hour of release. But uh there's like a handful of other people that had that. But I play more Dr. Mario now. Because I've realized I don't have to practice my quest. So what? why bother putting in that kind of work when I can just play it practice and die. Yo, Amadeus, don't get- don't get fucked up, dude. Shit. Right, here's the boss. It's uh, the drill. I'm really good at naming them, if you couldn't tell. Oh, I could've killed him. If I'd have been faster. If I would've been fast enough. There we go. Let it be known that I did that. Mm, perfect. I like this. I like this mechanic right here. Uh, the one where you run up the ramp. Yeah, you can actually only grab those things when you're on your way back down, which gives it a really cool like momentum to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels really natural. Anecdotal, but whatever. When I feel like it, I guess. I don't really. Ow! No! Okay. Oh, is there a secret in here? No, it's just. The... Is that just the way you have to go? It looks like it should be a secret. I feel ashamed. I feel like it could have been a secret. Maybe it's the Knuckles, though. I don't remember enough about this level. Thump. Thump. Then... Oh god. 
Everything's going wrong. Oh, I thought I could jump it. I thought I was good. Oh, oh. oh, look, a bonus stage. Look at that. Let's see if I don't fuck this one up too. I like this palette though. I'm a fan of blue, so. This one looks like relentlessly long. I just I just wanna point that out. Super nice color. Though after having played Sonic C D for a long time, I do miss the like awesome special stage backgrounds on that, because this is just kinda there. Like, there's not really a background here. There's no cool backdrop or anything. Not even something that looks like you tripped on acid. It's, it's just there. So, you know, it's, it's not, not as fun. In terms of visual, but... No, if my real name was Homer, I'd have a lot more, uh... No, actually, no. It's just uh, an alias that I went by on other forums. Wow, I got a perfect! Look at that! Am I confirmed good? Am I confirmed good? Let's find out. Ooh! Yo, if I can get this, I'm gonna pop off. It's actually going really fast. Oh, Jesus Christ! Please! Oh, there we go. That made up for it. That made up for the two times I fucked up, I think. That's good. Alright. Now I'm gonna have to wait for all these points to add up. It takes my life. There we go. Can be a continue that I don't need. It's gonna take forever for me to actually game over. Oh god! This, this is gonna be messed up though. I'm actually really nervous about this zone. Cause the boss here is kinda stupid. But I figured out a pattern for him, I think. Well, you can call it a pattern, I guess. Whoa, wow. My stream got posted in the, uh, the Smash 4 Meta Knight Discord. Which I appreciate, by the way, it's quite fun. But, uh, it's pretty cool. So if anybody's unfamiliar with each other, it's probably just people I met previously or... No, I'm not in the Zelda Discord! <laughs> no. Look, let, let's not go that far. I don't seriously play that character. If I, if I do, um, if I played Zelda, uh, insert something here. I don't know. Think, think about it. No, I, I think I've posted my stream. Should have placed it. I don't play Zelda though. I have limits, man. I have limits. Like, I think the last time I played a character that was really, really bad, I think it was Dan in Street Fighter 4. But that's only because, like, the way Dan works in that game, he simplifies it. He simplifies Street Fighter 4. Um, because all you have to do with Dan is, um, like, frame trap, tick throw. And if they get out of that, it's just 50-50, even though Dan is really shit. But like, it's way easier than trying to play like actual neutral in Street Fighter 4, which is like, trying to solve a math puzzle because of focus attack, so it's like, not really that big a deal. 
Basically, Dan doesn't take work in Street Fighter 4. That's why I played him. Every other character felt like they took too much work. Oh, perfect timing! Perfect timing! Oh, I can't go this way. Fuck! Alright, I have to go up. Look at that. Look at this thing. Alright, it's time for the super secret boss now. This is probably the most annoying part of the level though. It's the one I'm actually legitimately terrified of. I might actually die here. Keep tabs on it. This could be interesting. First death of the run. Fuck, wrong way. I went the wrong way. That was already a bad start. No! Oh fuck. I forgot about that. Alright, I was a little close, but I think we did it. Yeah, okay, we're good. We in there. Okay. Knuckles. Knuckles, please. There we go. Alright. So this boss doesn't really have a pattern. He just kind of shoots his shit in the floor and then pops out randomly somewhere else, so... I don't like this boss at all. And sometimes the rings can just fall through the floor. I don't know why they do that, but they do. I mean, you're kind of stuck dealing with this... Mmm, fuck! That was really close. Oh! And he jumped at a slant. Thank you, level geometry! For a fun fact, this boss is actually way, way easier for Sonic and Tails and literally anybody besides Knuckles. But unfortunately, I'm playing them. Uh, 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 fuck. Get the ring. There you, go. Yeah. you just have to master the ring collection. That's the real tough. The real. Wow. That looked like I fucked that up, but that was actually completely on purpose. 100% deliberate! Oh, there we go. Oh my god. I did it. Oh, alright. By the way. By the way, by the way, by the way. Knuckles doesn't have to actually deal with the boss in this zone. Well, for this level he does, but the Act 2 boss doesn't exist because he doesn't have a boss. I'll have to explain it when I get there, but... Now I'm showing very high level gameplay of holding right, but... There is more to this zone. It just takes time. And then it, be get, then it becomes immediately annoying. So, guess there's always that. Ooh! It's like I'm looking like I'm good at this game. Oh. Oh, I said. Wow, I didn't know that was there, actually. Um, oh, right, this one! This is the one where they're all incomplete. So, uh, 
you have to, uh, you have to, um, I'll find English in a second, give me a moment. You have to basically fill them all in yourself. Also, what the hell is this palette? It's like bad purple shreddies. By the way, I just feel like food shit. That was close. That was really close. That was really, really, really close. Anybody else want to tell me how close that was? That was uh. uh... Okay, I have an idea. Oh, this... No! No! Fuck! I almost made that. I fucked it up. Damn it! I have three more to go. This is not... Well, okay. I think I can do it. I don't think I've... I've run this run beyond repair. I, I think this is doable. This is 100% possible. If I just believe. I don't think I'm going to be going for perfects anymore, though. Seems like a lot of work. Alright. By the way, everybody, this boss is literally not a penis. I just feel like pointing that out. This isn't a penis. It's not a dick, guys. I'm serious. It's not a dick. Guys, it's not a dick. Fuck. No, seriously, it's not a dick. Actually, a, a way worse boss. If you want to talk about it, it's not a dick. But that's coming up. Also, did you like those Act Two bosses? Good, because we don't have one here. Oh God. About to get uncomfortably close. Oh fuck! Wow. Okay, I gotta be careful of that. Yeah, this is. Yep, there you go. That's the combo. That's the combo that can happen. That's a real combo. Don't get hit by that combo. Don't get hit by that combo at all. Just don't. Fuck. Every time, man. Spikes everywhere. Oh, look, they give you a lightning shield. How cute. I spend all my day on the computer too. Maybe they'll finally take the surgery back, the vacuum off of me, and I'll have a life again. They'll still never do anything. That was my fault. That was completely my fault. Fuck! This is getting progressively worse. By the way, if you guys wanted like a final, like a boss for this, this level, um, guess what? There's no boss! Oh wait, you messaged me? Fuck. <laughs> Discord literally doesn't tell me somebody's messaging me in streamer mode. Cause it's, it's actually like, join call- wait, what? They have calls in this thing now? They have one-on-one -on -one calls? I didn't even know that. Yo, how do I, like, make sure the volume won't be too loud? Alright, yo. 
Wait, is my mic muted? Yeah, there it is. How do I unmute it? Oh, like that. Okay, wait. Is this working? They have calls now? Holy shit. Voice region, US South. What does that mean? US Central. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Wait, is this coming out of my speakers? Excuse me, no. There we go, hello? I can hear you, are, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you, I got you. Okay, alright. Alright, alright. Uh, if you're onto my stream, you can actually see all the gameplay and shit. Should be good. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that... Trying to make sure it's working, yeah. Alright, this zone is cool as shit. I like it. It's a, it's a solid good out of 10 level, I think. Fuck. Wait. Hang on, let me make sure the volume's up on the call properly. There we go. That should be good. Good stuff. So, uh, you, you came in, like, uh, flying battery zone, basically. I'm not in the nut, the, uh, I'm still in the Sonic 3 part of the game, so. Kinda slow right now, but. We're getting there, we're getting there. I've absolutely bombed the bonus stages really bad, really, really badly, but, you know, it's not a big deal. Alright, so, is it, can you hear me right now? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright, cool, now let's see. Alright, great, 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 I can actually hear both things out. Alright, so, as I was, wow, how'd you glide into that, man? Fuck. I, I'm terrible at this game. You don't know how bad I am at this? But, you're supposed to be a knuckle game, so like, what the fuck, man? I expected actually a higher level of skill from you. I'm not gonna clip through anything, give me some time. I, all of my- Give me time, you're like- you're flying battery right now. What? How much more time do you need? Well, I mean, a little bit. Just like a couple more minutes, give or take. Oh my God! Sounds like John. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good at this. Just wait. I'll do You're some. I'll do some dumb shit in the bonus stage. You'll make up for it. Uh-huh. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's blue spheres, but I'm not bad at blue spheres. If there's one thing that I'm good at, it's the thing that I'm good at when I'm not good at. Yeah, that's 100% confirmed. Oh my god. I don't, I don't like it. I'm not looking for to see how this goes. Wait, I'm better at the Sonic and Knuckles half of this game. I can do Sandopolis, no problem. Fuck Sandopolis, no, so why'd you take the bottom route? Uh, don't know. Usually what I go, I think there's a bonus ring around here. I'm doing the route I took in my practice. Oh, really? Yeah, I did so, practice. Yeah, so, so you practice first and then you're, you're still playing this badly? Yeah. I never said I was good at Sonic games. You gave me the impression that you were. I mean, I know my shit, but knowledge is not everything. Mm. Let's see if we got... Let's see if I can do this. Wait. No, okay. hang on. I was just- I literally remembered right when I charged that up, that those things rise depending on how far you scroll the screen. I fucked up immediately. Yeah. Ooh, you don't know how to do a standing jump from Spin Dash? That was a re attempted reaction. Oh my go. god. <laughs> Why is everyone talking Smash in your chat? Oh, uh, I mentioned, uh... Fuck, I forget what it was. It happened like 20 minutes ago. It's just kind of been periodically spiraling out of control, yeah. Oh my god. And not much to talk about in this game right now. What do you mean not much to talk about? You can clearly talk about how bad you are. No, I got this. Uh huh. I feel like you would have gotten hit by that. No, man, I know the hitbox. <laughs> It's a very hard boss right here. Yeah, very difficult boss. I hate it. He killed every speedrun. 
<laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. Can you imagine if somebody lucky. actually... Who actually would lose to that, though? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at a dead run if they fucked up and the boss didn't hit himself on the head and get the side or something. I, this is true. Yeah, yeah that, that would be a dead run. Yeah, like... You're missing Carnival Night, though. That level some shit with knuckles. It's also horribly disappointing because you don't get to fight a boss in that zone. For whatever reason. What the fuck? Carnival Night! It's because... No, it's because Carnival Night takes place. Nothing takes place after Sonic and Tails. So, like, wow. not everything's the same. Yeah, Carnival Night is the same. I'm upset that that mouse hit. Me. I'm actually really mad. Wow! At that was supposed yeah, to be a I good ass jump. That was a good ass jump, but it failed. Disgusting. Disrespected by the hitboxes. That's exactly what happened. Mm. That was a good ass jump. Damn, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I didn't start the stream because man, I would've been roasting you the whole fucking way. Yeah, I would've been pretty bad. Don't you worry though. I got this. Uh huh. I have performance anxiety, but if you put me in a Mario game, it'll look a lot better. Yeah, cause Mario's easy, you fucker. Ah, uh, kinda. Depends on which one you're playing. I usually do ROM hacks. Uh, Fire Shield would be better here. Yes, you're dead. Fire Shield will work. I'm gonna take the upper rope this time, why not? I wonder how you're gonna do against Metal Sonic. That's gonna be fun to watch. DA Garden's gonna be really interesting. Oh yeah, you're gonna fucking you're gonna fucking love it. Why don't you walk quick? A little bit behind though. Yeah, because we're watching on the tree. Yeah, it's a little behind. Looking a little bit better now. Prognosis is the run is getting better. I love that part right there. It's so fun. Yeah, the little uh, grabby things that throw you around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like the natural evolution to Wing Fortress. Uh, is there a crusher mm -hmm. thing here? Yep, okay. That spin dash is probably a really bad idea, but it's a good thing it didn't come and bite me in the end. <laughs> it's actually a very poor decision that managed to work yeah. out. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Sounds like my life playing Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I wish Russell's had a pushing animation, but uh... Yeah, there's a few things that I wanted out of this game, Knuckles, but maybe Sonic Mania will fix all of that. I, really I don't think he's see... gonna get a pushing I, I highly see... doubt that he's gonna get a pushing animation. I just really wanna see. Um, the redrawn knuckle sprints for that game. Oh, and before they're just, just like... They literally just copy-paste these, price. no. They're totally just gonna copy-paste these with the shading and all, it's gonna look really bad. Like, <laughs> he just literally looks like he did here. It's like, yeah, well he fits him at the older stages better than Sonic does, that's kind of the point. Here's a Sonic CD I mean, they, gotta, they gotta add to the frame. This is a Sonic CD boss. You just wait. Oh my god, yeah, Wing Fortress boss. It's like the Wing Fortress boss, but you do even less. You just kind of just let the wave do. Damn, that was a good breakfast. I'm happy I did that. Alright, I got this. Look at that! Not a single problem. Uh-huh. Are you ready for the uh, the boss that's actually just a dick and balls? Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Are you serious, <laughs> game? I'm mad. I'm actually mad. I had that yes. one. God yes. damn it. Yeah. I'm mad as fuck. That's because you're bad. I'm mad. I'm actually legitimately mad at you. 
You fucking G, man. They, they could have cleared like, me up there, and it would have worked what, out. Like, what? But, uh, 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 see, here's the thing, why didn't you just react to, when you started stuff going down, why didn't you react to jump into a glide over the wall to the I don't know. Now I gotta wait for it to come all the way up. Alright, real talk. This is a dick and balls. I'm not even kidding. That's literally what this boss is. Penis, also dick and balls. Yeah, it's literally what it is. Ooh, ooh. Oh, hey there, Eggman. I thought you were- I thought you were gone. It's literally a dick and ball. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna pause the emulator to see when he comes up. Wait, wait, is this song so complete? Look at that. Look at this. This is a dick and balls. And like, they have Oh, I thought they had spikes on it. I was gonna say, that's pretty kinky. But... Wait. Wait, is this Sonic 3 complete? Yeah, this is Sonic 3 complete. Oh, okay, because I was gonna say... Yeah, like, why is Egg Robo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to why it's because, like, where's Mega Egg, man? And he's dead. Yeah. That's easy as shit. You should probably mute my stream on your end, though, because I can hear it. Oh, my be. Yeah, no problem. Thrusting dick. Yeah, that's what it is. That's literally what it is. It's a thrusting dick that shoots fire, which sounds like a STD. Alright, how are we gonna explain the- oh, well, I guess that's how we're gonna explain the transition. I paused it so that I can Oh my god! The team isn't playing. <laughs> this thing's have been doing. I actually wish I was playing Sonic for the zone because you can deal with those uh, Wait. shield guys. Wait! Hold up! Oh, oh, no, 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 chill, 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 chill. Why are your eyes cap? Oh, it's the prototype release order. Uh, because that was an option inside. Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay, okay. Well, how did they manage what was the transition? Like, the regular uh, transition where he just runs off the thing? Yeah, because it uses the uh, door of flying battery as a snowboard. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it looks pretty neat, actually. Cause that was apparently how the game was supposed to actually be, and uh... Mm. You know. I wonder why they changed the order though. Uh, mostly cause Sonic and Knuckles was completed later. Cause you know how it was, you know, two different games. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause Sega development cycles are basically the equivalent of punching yourself in the eye. Really, really kind of bad, actually. The 3D NES emulator? I don't want to give myself, like, eye disease. I've tried it before, it hurts. It actually hurts to look at. It would be great if there was a Genesis. Three Genesis that would be fun. That would look cool, but I'm wondering if it would be like... Because the 3D NES one looks kind of... Kind of sketch, really. Like, you, you'd really? Have to, you have to see it to understand how weird it looks. Oh no, I've seen it. Because I've seen someone play Grand for that on it. Oh, of course, that game. Yeah, of course that game. Super Mario 7 Granddad, yeah, it's my favorite one. Yeah. Good job, on I know, I got this. Alright, this is the maze part, oh, of course. So my practice playthrough was only extended. You could've gotten all, could've gotten all those rings. If you had kept the lightning shield, you wouldn't be losing your range just now. I know. We're good, we're good. Uh-huh. 100% fine. Uh-huh. I know the boss here is gonna piss me off with Knuckles, though. It's every single boss Knuckles. in this zone with Knuckles is, uh... Ooh, it's bad. Yeah. Like, for real, like, even for <laughs> good Knuckles players, I've seen them fuck up on the bosses here. Oh, they're pretty awful. Is this not the way I'm supposed to go? I guess not. Good job. Not a big deal. You don't even know your own route. I didn't practice this part. <laughs> what the hell did you practice? Uh, about four zones in. What? That's not even practice. That's like a warm-up. No bonus stages? Uh, I've done- I know the bonus stages pretty well. Okay, I know what to do here. Fuck. It's like that boss- so you, 
Metropolis. You know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do so that you get it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got it. I'm brainstorming. Okay. All right. I have to do it a bit sooner. All right. Because I'm, I'm, I'm theorizing that you can jump on the middle of them during the first swoop. Wow. I'm thinking about it. If you I was Sonic, so I could just jump up and insta shield and kill this boss pretty much immediately. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Knuckles has to put in work. Boo! You notice how he has like 10 ice, uh, ice blocks and then when he throws them, you only get like half of them? Yeah, I know. It's like, uh, where'd the other ones go? We don't wanna. Maybe they didn't wanna lag the game out. <laughs> I mean, if they had made it, if they had added any more, he probably would not have been able to draw the properly. That too. Oh man, you're so scared. You weren't hitting him during the fucking. Uh, I don't want to mess up. Time. You got two rings. His rings are broken, in Sonic. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why don't you hit him from below? Cause it's cooler to do it from the top. And you I look like a and you look like a scrub when you fuck it up from the top. That doesn't matter. Oh my god, stay strapped, my nigga. Stay strapped. Ooh, that was kind of close. I could have actually lost that. Ooh. Ooh! Perfect timing! It's not like I was close, but it's not like I was very hard. I'm just- I'm going off of mostly memory here, so... <laughs> trying to see if there's a bonus stage up here? Uh, you should charge a spin dash. Wow. Terrible. Good job. I know. I know, man! You don't gotta make it like this. Nah, man, because this is what happens when you bring me on the stream. When you bring a fellow classic Sonic bag on the stream and have them watch you play. This is, this is what's going to happen. And that's a pit. Yep, that's a pit. Good job. Live orgasm on stream. Well, no, this isn't a dark side fill stream yet. Give it some time, though. <laughs> At some point, it will happen. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not doing that. I mean, you could have just, could have just climbed up and then be safe. Oh, you gotta spin those down here. Oh, and I held down and he didn't do it. All right. Oh, I see. It's because the breakable thing counts as a different kind of surface, right? Um, yeah, it counts as its own surface, so the cheater animation can't be canceled as a My. If you're looking, are you looking? Wow. Are you looking, looking for a golden ring? I was looking away and I jumped. And then I told myself, "Don't look away." Don't do that. <laughs> I think there should be like a hidden uh, ring down there. Mm. Like when you, like where you die. <laughs> yeah, I imagine there would be. To the left, you mean? Uh, to the left, to the right. Oh wait, there? there's a spring. Okay. All right. All right. It always goes well in practice, and then when I actually play a game, it gets significantly worse on stream. Except for Maybe Sonic 2, that shit went perfect. And I'm mad that Maybe. I can't replicate Sonic 2. <laughs> it went so well. Maybe you should just pick the pre-recorded video, man. Okay, that was not my fault. I didn't think that... Really, no. Are you serious? I am! Oh I thought he'd actually go in the fucking ring, and then... Oh it didn't. my god! It takes several frames. It takes several frames for the ring to get active. But why? <laughs> Just walk. Just walk. All right. This is. I think this is the seventh one. Oh wait, no, it's the fourth one. Wow, I beat the seventh one. Oh yeah, it's because I messed up while I was talking. So this should, is this the last cast I'm on? Uh, I think I have two more to get. Oh my god. What, you're not collecting all the rings? No, because that's what got me killed. 
I don't want to wow, fuck you're around. Bad wow, you're bad. <laughs> I mean, if the point of a Sonic game is to go fast, then collecting all the rings is doing the opposite. No, but it gives you the points. Why do you need the points? Cards. Who the fuck cares about high score in 2016? But the thing is, you're playing a classic Sonic game, which is what scores a big part of that shit, nigga. No. There's no leaderboard yeah. for this. Who am I gonna break it with There's my high score? Oh, you fuck- you're a fucking pansy. I got this. You missed the other one that I got perfect on and did pretty well. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, you're trying to tell me that you don't care about score- that you don't care about scoring the classic Sonic game? No, I don't. What? Why? It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, what is this? No, hold up. What is this route? What is this route? Why are you taking this bullshit route? Like, you are jumping, you know, unnecessarily jumping over tons of red spears and putting yourself in harm's way for no goddamn good reason. That's pretty alright. For a reason, yeah. This is not even optimal. It doesn't need to be optimal. It doesn't need to be optimal. No, no. There's a perfectly good reason for this. What? There is no need to be upset. <laughs> Again. Can, can, can you? Can you stop triggering me with this garbage boost you play? I can trigger you further. No, do not trigger me. Do not trigger the black man. Do not trigger the black man. That sounds like good advice. Do not trigger the yes. Do not trigger the black man. Oh man, what a video game. Don't you know, don't you know Knuckles is this when he's riding kind of a projectile? Oh yeah! So you can just like ride, you can ride through the- That was a jump! Robot. That thing ate my jump! I don't know how it ate my jump, but I'll figure that out later. Probably buffered. Probably buffered. Yeah, probably. Okay, one more, I should do it. Good enough. Didn't want to miss that box of rings there. Yeah, the robotic boxes just damage you. Yep. They're there just to fucking piss everybody off. Nobody likes them. Yep. The, uh, Sega didn't use them too much because of the fact that they were new to this game and then just generally could be annoying. You know what I remember about this game's instruction manual? They explain flipping through the walls about like, in the best way possible. They're like, Robotnik's evil trap might suck you into the walls. And I'm like, but really though. <laughs> <laughs> that that my that the fucking quality assurance. Oh man, I zipped it, I zipped through the walls. I must be a robotic trap. All right. See, the insta shield makes this boss fight 100% reasonable. Without it. So it's just so does tail fly. Oh yeah, there's that too. Oh uh oh uh oh. See, this, is why the ring, this is why the ring system is broken. Yeah, you don't really have to care. <laughs> it's nice. It's good. This is good. And what's next? Launch base? The one that should actually come back for Sonic Mania? Please? Oh man, I love launch base. Launch base is like what about This levels the shit, even though it can shit on you pretty hard. Can you do can you do the one frame zip in act two? <laughs> no? What kind of question's that? Can you do this one frame zip? Like, hey man. Can you catch this bullet? I'm gonna shoot at you. Like, no, I, I can't. I'm good. I mean, it's not that hard. This game is only 60, this game's only 30 frames per second. So technically it's a two frame window from the zip. On the start of Act 2. This game's 30 frames? Really? Yeah, this game is, yeah, I, I, I probably call it crazy. This game is 30 frames. 
Which is why when you look at Sonic Mania, there's so many extra additional frames. Yeah, part of it's the new frames, but another part's the frame rate, yeah. Yeah, so, I, I'm pretty, like, even though the emulator says 60 frames per second, I'm pretty damn sure it's in the 30 frames per second. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just emulating 60 frames, but yeah. I have no but idea. Either. Yep. So, technically, uh, the 18 frame window for Insta Shield is actually 16 frames. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that move was fucking broken. It's a good thing that, that shit isn't in Smash, man. Oh god, if it was in Smash, I tried adding it to Smash but it didn't work out too well. Well, no, because you just go through everything. Fucking who cares, man? What is this? Like, well, no, it wasn't it. <laughs> it wasn't invincible in, in the edition that I added to the project. Yeah. Oh, I was but gonna say, added, like, if you made it invincible, that'd be like Luigi in there, but fucking stupid. Like, don't do that. It, it, it had a really, it had a really good hitbox. Well, I mean, really I would, I would hope it had a good hitbox. What's the point of the move? Yeah, that's why, that's why they got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, it's too good. You can't give Sonic to, don't give him it. <laughs> no, he was, he was so good with it though. I just compensated it as like low damage, but it could combo, so it didn't it still was really good. Fucking wrecking ball frogs. Did you know there's a ROM hack in this game that replaces all the go samples with uh Bill, 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 like from Bill Nine. Oh no, no. It's so good! It just goes Bill, Bill, no, Bill. No. The perfect You know, this zone is going a lot better than Ice Camp did. Cue everything well, wrong happening right now. Because no, it's because Lost Space is the homie. But yeah, you should try. You should try for the. Well, you're not playing Sonic, so you can't do it anyway. But if you're playing Sonic or Tails, you know how you spawn us the platform oh, after the first uh, X1 boss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if uh, on the first frame you get six, you get the max spin dash charge, which is six charges. Yeah. If you can get, yeah, if you can get six spin dash charges and let go on like the first frame of Act Two, then you'll uh, fucking spin dash through the. And dash down into a platform and cause a dip. That sounds amazing. Yeah, and it brings, I think it brings you to the end of the act. So it's a full, it's a full act of it. Oh yeah, I actually was wondering, is Tails' final boss in this game what I think it is? And it's just the Eggman yeah. mech? Yeah, and he doesn't get yeah. to go Doomsday? No Doomsday. Oh, he gets fucked so hard and like every game he's playable in. I really hope that's not the case in Mania. Like, uh, in yeah. Sonic CD, he didn't even get an ending. It's like, I I rationalized it too. That's basically like if you beat Lost Levels with Luigi, and the game is just like, fuck you, play Mario. There's no princess. You just have to pick Mario. What the fuck? They didn't even think of a sprite ending for it. They just said, oh, there's the credits. He beat Robotnik, guys. Well, I mean, there's probably not much that you can't do, really. It's just a port. True, true. Sonic CD is mostly rendered cutscenes. Mm -hmm. They added new content after Sonic CD, but that's just what it is. But funny thing is, you can still play Doomsday Zone with Tails to debug mode. Debug, yeah. yeah but the does it look glitchy like it does with Knuckles though? Cause like, with Knuckles it's yeah. kind of... Yeah, the parts are fucked up. Boost me into a dead end, I'll probably have to climb it. They're probably actually expecting me to use Knuckles' climb ability. Wow, crazy. Alright, <laughs> uh, yo, boss time? No, no boss. Oh yeah, here we go. Now there's two yeah. of them! Yeah! Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this boss, this boss pissed me off. Well, I mean, look at it. It's just literally... You know, we're just gonna... Yeah, because of shit like that! It's gonna it's shit like that. Yeah, we're gonna swing around giant hitboxes. Have fun trying. Like, the, <laughs> the fuck? Uh oh, uh oh. The rings, I've got him. Rings are OP except when you're fighting two Shulknares at the same time. That's basically what it is. <laughs> That's literally. That was such a weird analogy. Oh my god. Like, that's literally just two Shulk Nairs. They just keep coming. There's no land. All ten frames of landing lands. And there's two of them. <laughs> Doubles. Ow. Do they take six hits each? Like. I think so. Wow, Shulk is viable? Like, in the Knuckles matchup? Yo, did I. Did I get one? 
Okay, we're, we're on our way there. Actually, no, it's, like, it's like four Shulknares, because like there's two things. Oh, I tried Shulk to get that. Really have... Shulk wishes he had that, uh, he had these nares. Ooh, that was close. Uh -oh. that, was a little, that was a little risky, but that paid off. Risky. Can I get an item? Can I get an item? Nah. Fuck. Nah. Nah, no item. Rip. You don't, you don't, you don't know where the item placements are. This is the part with water in it, I think. Maybe. Yeah, the, the act is actually really unique to Knuckles. Kind of cool. Like legitimately, this is one of the acts that stand out to me in Knuckles Out because the scenery is different and the level gimmicks are way, way more different. This yep. place actually, this place actually scared me because I would find myself in water a lot more often than I wanted to. Water in Sonic is just usually terrifying. Mostly the music. It's what? mostly the music. Like, water in Sonic is not terrifying because I'm my tail's main, so I, I can swim through everything, but... When you're playing Knuckles, though. Oh. Yeah, Unless you play Sonic Knuckles. Advance 1, then it's fucking silly. <laughs> then you swim just... to the top? Yeah, swim to the top and fight that one boss. It's like... I mean, I, I, I appreciate that simply because of the fact that, you know, we take note of his cannon swimming, swimming ability. Yeah, it's, it's one of his... Better traits, I suppose. Wow, that was almost really bad. Sonic 1 Advance? Maybe I'll try it. Oh, not that one! No! I read that as Sonic Advance 1 in my head. No, I'm not I'm not playing the GBA Sonic 1. Why? Oh, no! 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 Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, my friend played that for a shitty game stream. It was pretty fucking no. wretched. Yeah. I, did you see the did you see the did you see the world record for Green Hill Zone Act One for Sonic uh, One Advance? What is it? Like uh, uh twenty one seconds. When that, the isn't that world... slower than the original game? No, I think the world record for the original is twenty five. Oh no! How do I get up there? Either way. <laughs> That's oh, snail. Shit. That's snail. What's it's the top just... tier? Edgar. No, I tried climbing and that, that thing on the side blocks me. Oh my... No, wait, you can't climb through the gap? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you can just climb directly through it. I'll have to try that next time, assuming that happens. So wait, Knuckles' gimmick here is just water then, basically, right? Yeah. Shit's flooded. Yeah, it yeah, chemical, uh, chemical plant zone do bullshit. Oh yeah, alright. Good enough, that's a pretty good way of putting it there. You know what I would enjoy them doing here for, uh, what, I, what I would've enjoyed for Knuckles? Is if he had longer underwater duration since it's on his tail. Yeah, that probably would've been nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you can't climb through it! What the f- Okay. I just fucking told you! I don't understand this game sometimes. Uh, the fucking game more than once a year. And really, all right. So it actually propels you so fast that you go past it. All right, understood. Man, how do you have seven lives all of a sudden? You got like fourteen the last time we saw. Bad things. Bad things, man. And you know, the Sonic 1 thing went even better than this. Even Sonic 1 went better. So I, I genuinely yeah. don't know what happened. Like, 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 Sonic 3 is like the easiest game. I know! I mean, you are not playing Knuckles, so... I think Knuckles... Like, Knuckles' route is harder than Sonic 2. Oh, it's... So. Yeah, it's much harder than Sonic and Tails. From my experience, Knuckles has a where he actually has to put in work. No, I meant like, no, I meant like Knuckles' route as a whole is harder than Sonic 2 as a whole. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, as long as you're good at oh, Sonic Oh, okay, you're so gonna, now it works. Like, I bounced off that spring and then. Okay, I don't understand. 
Were you holding forward when you died when you when you Wait, ran past it? Is it gone forever? Uh, might be. But I thought they Woo! respond when you went off screen. If you, uh, it's further than that. You have to spin dash jump up. Oh, um, you can just die. Oh. Well then. Well, now that I know that. Oh, nothing oh, what like. What is this like? Uh, what is this like? That was that weird. Uh, what just happened there was quite strange. Um. Oh yeah, that's that's that's, that's like maybe the first zip right there, but it didn't do anything. That's how you'll see a lot. That's how you see some level passes though. They'll just like glide into something, and then all of a sudden they're on the other side of the map. Man, it's a good thing I didn't get like invested in the zipping because that shit would be <laughs> that shit would be gone in Sonic Mania, unfortunately. I, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's fine to be invested in the zipping because you can just keep doing it in ROM hacks and shit. This is true. Also, we don't know if zipping is actually going to be in uh, Sonic Mini or not. Because it seems like they're still like using the same like engine or what the fuck ever. I mean, they're using head cannon, but it still seems like they're like they're using the shit that was built. Like, Sonic One and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're still using the same shit that Sonic One and Two were built off of, so there still might be some forms of zipping. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe they'll make a special area, but only for Zippin. <laughs> That'd, That'd be, be pretty great. neat. That'd be a great shout out. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, there's two different hidden palace zones in Sonic 2. Yo, is it time for big arms? Uh, no, it's the uh, dumb tower bullshit. I thought we also get big arms here. Oh, we do. You have to fight both of them. Incomplete. Yeah, boy! Do we get the music shift or no? I forget. Uh, I think he has good the job. Great. Oh, that's... like why'd you oh, just like glide into that? That didn't hit it. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! The hitbox the is hit box. Box. The ball hitbox is pretty deceptive. That's all I'm going to say. You know you can be. You know you can be super. And do spin dash jump off of the point of the uh, edges. Alright, one should've more hit. should've glided over the way! <laughs> one more hit, I think. And I, the ball got in the way. Was that ball there for Sonic, too? I'm trying to remember if it was. Yeah, it is. But you can insta shield this. So yeah, insta shield, it. yeah. And now we have big arms. Hey! Which is actually easier as Knuckles. Oh, we don't get the normal music. Or the Big Bombs music, which is a shame. This one's... I think it was more terrified as a kid than watching Big Bombs not just super out of super fun. Oh yeah, that shit was next level, dude. That's like one of like a, a few machines that can technically do it, although only one's done it canonically. The one in Unleashed, I think. Mm -hmm. But I like to think of this one as the first. Even though that bug is fixed. I was actually thinking I wish didn't fix it. really hard about asking, could you have it like as a tog level feature? Just for the novelty of it. Yeah, for real, because it it was the most impressive thing there. It really drove home the fact that this is the final boss when you play Sonic Me Alone. The final boss, except when it's not. Because you put in... Oh yeah, did you know, by the way? This is act... That actually upset me. They don't have Sonic 3 and Knuckles as, as its own game on uh, Hitbox's game list. <laughs> That's why the screen says Sonic and Knuckles. Well, I was wondering about that. That's just hard -ish. Alright, Mushroom Hill. Most difficult zone of, of the game. It's about to go bad. What kind of fun? Mushroom Valley. Alright, I forgot that, about that name. Uh, does it actually- yeah, but what the 
Okay, so I can just do the super emeralds for the ones I have already. Okay. Oh no! See, uh, see, this is this is this is a mistake that you made. You should have gotten all the chaos emeralds first. I know. Not everything goes according to plan, though. Oh, this palette looks disgusting. What is this color scheme? Vomit. <laughs> yeah, that's a good call, actually. Oh my god. You could have just turned those things into rings had you gone the proper route. Yep. But that's like being difficult. Yeah, you really do like being difficult. Also, trigger also triggering god. the black man is pretty funny. Guys, can you, like, do it? Like, next time you do this shit, can you just land your route? Nah, I think it's more entertaining. Um, oh my god. This is racist. This is pure racism. You're, this is a hate crime because you're intentionally triggering, triggering the black man. For no good reason, other, other than just some giggles, you piece of shit. I mean, the stream's enjoying it, so you gotta bring in that YouTube and money. And the stream's a piece of shit, too! <laughs> you good. I actually, I, I upped the bitrate. <laughs> oh my god. Like, you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna get a perfect or anything. It's just gonna be like, wow. Oh, I clearly, I clearly watched too many. I clearly watched too many fun attacks because just watching you frame by frame just do everything in your power to be wrong. Probably one of the most vomited things ever. Oh, Can you like? <laughs> it went too fast. You it ate my input! It ate my input! Good! Good! That's what you get! <laughs> you motherfucker! That's what you get for dicking around too long! Good! No, that was pretty good. I agree, that was pretty solid. Guess I'm getting all emeralds in DA Garden. <laughs> <laughs> good fucking luck! Watch me do it! I mean, I'ma watch you not do it, that's for sure. Oh, I'm using Tails, it's kind of hard not to get all the emeralds back in Oh, you're using Tails in DA Garden? I'm using Tails, yeah, for DA Garden. Why Tails? Uh, change of pace. Uh, yeah. Just, just don't disappoint me with your Tails play. I don't know what the- I just know how to fly. Oh my god. I mean, I can spin dash, I can fly, I can run. I can use my tails to hit things and just make cheat a few bosses. Uh, do you know, do you know, but do you know the size of tails and hit bosses on, on his tail? Uh, pretty fucking big. Yeah, they're pretty generous. Rotor blades of death. I'm aware I destroyed yeah, collision chaos with it. It's pretty great. <laughs> I just flew up into the boss over and over again and he died. Yes, sir. See, like every other Sonic run went really good. And, uh, Except this one. Yeah, this one of all the ones. Ooh. The best one. The best game. You fuck up somehow. Alright. I actually know how to do this one. Oops. And you leave the ones... Right off the bat. You leave the ones that are... Uh, Isolate the loan until the end. That way you can get all the rings. I'll take this remotely seriously now. Thank you. I appreciate your consideration of my feelings. Now if I play Mario though, or if you played Mario... If that ever happens... <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Oh, I... There's so many rings in this one, Jesus. I forgot yeah, how many ones there are in this one. There it is. There it is. I'm probably gonna be quiet to focus though. Don't go me. I'm just sitting here for waiting. Oh no! I botched! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Genuine attempt. <laughs> oh, you did a lot better than the last one. Yeah, I mean, that was going pretty good. 
If I get all the regular Chaos Emeralds, I think I'll be thankful. Cause that'll give me the, that'll give me the good ending. That's all I care about. I mean, you yeah, get the good ending, but then you won't have the but until you beat the game, you won't have the pleasure of playing Super Knuckles. The other thing I don't get about Hyperforms being able to breathe underwater is when the fuck would that come in handy? Cause are there even any water levels in Sonic? <laughs> Uh, it's probably just for play, uh, for New Game Plus shit. This is true. So I hope I hope you know there are actually a total of seven golden rings in, in, in Mushroom. Okay, Mushroom Hill. Uh, can Knuckles get all seven of them though, or is it? There... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're actually if you're actually good enough, you can get all seven Chaos Emeralds in Mushroom Hill. Oh, so it's like a uh, Emerald Hill zone. Mhm. Also, I forgot how easy it is to get the uh, emeralds with uh, knuckles in Sonic 2 until I played it again, because they actually let you keep your rings after the bonus stages. So I know, like, right? Like, what the fuck? Why do they completely gimp the challenge in there? Well, probably because the requirements for knuckles are higher. Uh, like, okay. it, like, like, I, if I remember correctly, the rings you need in order for each emerald, for each part of the special stage, this, for Knuckles, is higher than Sonic alone. I uh, know, actually, yeah, the rings well. are lower to get really? in, in Sonic 2 and Knuckles, yeah. Knuckles' ring requirement for uh, for zone is lower? Oh, no, they're the same. 50 rings for a checkpoint, yeah. No, 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 no. You know how much, you know how it says you need to collect a certain amount of rings to continue on in a certain thing? Oh, yeah, those are easier with Knuckles, yeah. Really? They actually reduce it. They're harder. Yeah, and you keep all your rings after you beat a bonus stage, too. Oh yeah, then they give the hell out of that game. Yeah, man, they made it way easier. <laughs> uh, okay, there's one more set that I need to get then. It's this going is really like fast. this. Yeah, this special stage is the one that actually sucks with me a lot, and it still kind of does, just because the the uh, fucking screws are so far spread out. And the layout is really weird. I know DA Garden actually has a different blue sphere level too. No. I think you just missed the blue sphere. Alright, I saved that last one at the end there, because I need to find the last cluster of them with the... That's right there. Right where? Did you jump over one? I, I jumped over one so I could get the uh, perfect, right? Uh, alright. Because I can't get that last one alone. But I have to find the... The last I'll set of them. I mean, there's a max of these so what do you god! Problem. Why is that one so bad? Why? <laughs> I beat the seventh one on like the first try, but like, what is that? The sixth Woo! one? Yeah. Like, oh, god. I think that was the sixth or seventh one. It has to have been, because they wouldn't have made it that dumb. Yeah, that that was that was that. That's my problem. That blue sphere stage right there. Alright, I don't remember where all the rings are here. Oh, if you spend some time looking for them, you should, you should be able to find all of them. I mean, they're all there. All seven are split up to two. So once you like get three or four, then you probably got them all for that goal, for that act. Oh, you mean all seven of them in Act One and Two combined? Yes. Oh, okay, I was gonna say like in all of one act, I just don't know about that. Because I found quite a few in Mushroom Hill One before. But... Yeah, that's like three. Should be three or four, and then the remaining one, two. Yeah, I think it's four in Act One and three in Act Two. Now that I think. Oh, oh you were kind of. I wonder why they put so much. Uh, uh for a good reason. I don't think I don't think it's like that in. I don't think it's like that in Sonic Knuckles alone. I think it's a Sonic Three thing. Sonic Three Knuckles thing. Oh yeah, because they did make the level easy. Well, they might have removed that then, because, uh... This hack just has, like, layout changes to make it the most challenging version of each one. Which is why Hydrocity still has the springs that bounce you back during the, uh, auto oh. crusher thing. Which is still free as I fuck with Knuckles, because Knuckles has to just walk I... through it. Yeah, I didn't see that, but yeah. I like to think every Eggman robot exists with a purpose. I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to do. Cut trees. Uh, yeah, my, well the thing is, right, if, 
it depends on the type of energy that Eggman was using. Because, like, for example, right, he could cut the trees in order to have the wood be built a beast sword in order to fire energy, or he could just be cutting the trees in order to level the fort so that he can, you know, play for fucking Eggopolis area here. True, true, true. <laughs> The one thing I like about the zone, well, you know, besides the zone, is uh, the uh, cool little color change you get. It's the sickest thing ever. In life. Yeah, yeah. This, 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 this is probably one of my favorite zones too. It's a shame this came back in generations, though I still would be totally fine with seeing it in Mania. <clears throat> you know. It's a shame it came back in generations. Well, not a shame, but like, because people would. Be like, well, they already brought this one back. Why can't they shouldn't do it again? You know, I, I mean, no one really. I mean, no one really cares about the 3DS version, you know, generation. You're right. The only people. Yeah, yeah, this is true. I mean, no one really. Really cares. Uh, I, I stopped. I stopped playing the 3DS version of after I unlocked homing attack to Sonic. Uh, and yeah, there is that. And I'm done. I am being I'm being dead serious. Some of are like, oh hey, it's fast on the Sonic attack, I stopped playing. You didn't get that in the uh PC one until you did the extras for it, I think. You'd have to like get that on your own. What? Uh, the homing attack? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could get it in uh, the PC one, but you'd have nope. to buy it post game. Oh! Oh no! No, we didn't have homing attack at all. It was just it was just a left feature. Oh, okay. Yep. What up? I'm not getting it. Oh my god, you already used up your shit? I didn't want to stay in there. I don't like the gumball on uh, stage very much, it's pretty boring. The, the gumball horse is fucking fun. Because if you, because like to me it's just a challenge of how long you can stay in that bonus stage. It needs stupid amounts of play coins for shit. What? Really? That already sounds like this. That sounds like another reason why I would drop that shit. Stop jumping down! Yeah, D-pad. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. Like, if you have hyper doubles, even if you probably got stuck to those two, those two uh, long things, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, in mean, hyper doubles, you can actually break three of them. After, an, after you get enough speed, it's pretty fun watching it happen. Because, <laughs> like, you're just sitting in place, building up speed, and then once you let go, you just kind of, like, fly. Yeah. The other cool thing about Hyper Knuckles is gliding into walls and making earthquakes. Oh, yeah. It's a better situation as fuck. It is. It really is. But, I mean... Hey, it's fun. And then on top of that, you still didn't even get a, bit, a better jump. Yeah, he still has the, uh... The traditional shitty knuckles jump, which I've said before, which I actually posted in the classic heroes thread. You need to give him that back, please. Please give him the shitty jump back. It's a requirement. Like, it doesn't feel right beating the Sonic 2 final boss like Sonic with knuckles. Like, I devised a strategy specifically for that, and then when I played classic heroes, I was like, I had a strat, and I don't have to do it anymore. All that effort. But like, yeah. The other thing about Knuckles' low jump is that I think it made certain bosses a lot more interesting with Knuckles. Cause... Mm -hmm. Like for instance, the Aquatic Hill, or the Aquatic Ruin boss with Knuckles, if you fall off one of the pillars you have to wait like three days. But that's what you get oh for fucking up. I, I hated that though. <laughs> but, the, the original game, there was a way to uh, actually like fly through and just keep landing on the other pillar. Because for some reason when Knuckles glides into that boss, he doesn't actually bounce off, he just goes through. Because Knuckles in Sonic 2 is actually quite glitchy. I don't know if they planned on it, but it is. Probably did it. I'm just assuming it's just because they injected him into the game and didn't really think about how the gliding would interact with certain things in the game. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, looks like the chat- oh, looks like the stream froze up to my end. Wait, did the stream die? I don't think it died. 
Uh, yeah, because if it freezes up the minute I actually get the fucking perfect on a special stage and... There we go. Mm, fuck that shit. Got it. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Did I get... Wait. Did I already get the, the actual Emerald Emerald? Because that always pissed me off, too. Is that... They're called Chaos Emeralds, and the first one you get is fucking blue in, like, Sonic 2, and I'm like, it's an Emerald, why isn't it green? It only happens when you think about it too much, but, like, there's, like, seven of them, but only one of them's an actual Emerald, so, like, are they all fakes? Like... No, it's the Chaos Energy, it's just that the different amounts of Chaos Energy change their color. Okay. I'm just gonna be, like, did Robotnik just buy, like, six counterfeit Emeralds and put one real one somewhere? And, like, Sonic's gotta find nah, the green one? Nah, there's, there's the way that they are because of the color. Or because of the cap on me. Alright. So two more and then I don't even get to use Super Knuckles, which isn't a big deal, because Hyper Knuckles is better anyways. Yeah, but then you still have to unlock Hyper Knuckles before, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can do that. That's not too bad. <coughs> the Sonic and Knuckles bonus stages are different, but not terribly hard. Are you- okay. Nice hitbox, bro. Alright. Alright. This boss I mean, is actually... It is, it is pretty fun. I like this boss, but it's actually much more difficult with Knuckles than it is with Sonic. Yes, it is. Or Tails. Did you know- Did you know if you beat this boss like, if you beat the boss way beforehand, the area is a lot shorter than what you think it will be. Oh, fuck, I missed him. Barely. I actually don't like on rails bosses a lot. Which is why when I play Sonic Advance 2, I get really upset, because every boss in that game is an on rails boss. And they're all annoying! It's not like they're fun. They're all really annoying. Mm-hmm. Every boss is harder, yes, with Knuckles, due to his shitty jump. But, like, some of them are more harder, more difficult than others. And this one- I mean, the thing- The thing is with Knuckles and Boston is that they mostly can be hard. Yeah, they also have harder patterns, too. Yeah, Sonic Advance 2 sucks. Oh, you know what you should do a ROM hack of? What? Uh, Amy and Sonic 3. I can do that. I actually don't mind. Yeah, she, has a, she actually she has her Sonic Advance moveset. She's actually fun in Sonic 3 because the hammer is basically an insta shield. Mm -hmm. You just fuck everything up with it. Alright, so since I did Flying Battery in the release or the prototype order. Oh! Fuck. Good things don't last forever, I see. <laughs> Ooh, that was actually cool. Yeah, this zone's balls. Um, yeah, yeah, I I, like it's the one bad zone in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, because everything else is fine. But they had to have one. You gotta I mean, have one. I don't think. I don't even think Act One is all that bad. I no, Act One is fine. Good. Act Two is where it fucking gets out of hand, and it's worse with Knuckles because the ghosts just start pissed off. Like, the fuck's your uh, problem, yeah, man? Man, because Sonic, yeah, Sonic dumbass released them already. Released them already. Yeah, like... Well, some people like Sandopolis, but they don't- they're not alive anymore, so... <laughs> like, like, Sandopolis actually is the whole reason why the Sonic Board Cannon trying to say that Sonic and- Sonic's path and Knuckle Path happening at the same time is complete bullshit. Oh, that- that thing's fucked. Well, that's why Sonic 4 Episode 3 doesn't exist, because they realize two episodes in that they're committing a sin. And just stop. And that's I, my... I can't believe that they fucked the continuity up so damn hard. Like, the continuity was something so set in stone, too. And, like, there's other cues, too, like the death egg being already broken in one of the backgrounds. And, like... Oh, there's a lot of other things. It I actually... Said, oh, act one. The act one's pretty alright. It looks cool. It's got a pyramid in the background, so it's automatically that's... kind of interesting. It's got tons of gimmicks that aren't really overbearing, that don't really get in the way. And you know, I should say, there was a zone that scared me more than this zone when I was younger. Only when I played it for the first time. It was Marble Garden, because I saw the word Marble, and I had beaten Sonic 1. 
and I immediately went. Oh, no! And then it was, and then it was actually fun. But like when you start it off, it's like, oh no, not marble again. And you can even see Marble Zone in the background of Marble Garden. Wait, like, really? Yeah, there's like ruins and shit. It looks just like Marble. I mean, yeah, it looks like Marble, but it can't be Marble because Marble Sonic One takes place in the South Island. Yeah, I know. It, it, it looks familiar though. Definitely uh, cues from it. Yeah, it's probably just like a throwback. Of the I know Wily Wars has Green Hill Zone in the background in one of its levels. In uh, Wily Tower. Wait, what? Yeah, it literally is Green Hill Zone in the background. Like, let me find it. I have to go Wait, get what level? What, what game? Uh, Mega Man The Wily Wars. Oh my god, wow. That, which is a bad game, but, you know, it, Wily Tower is pretty fun. The Wily Wars is only in the Genesis, right? Yeah. yeah. Which pisses well, me off, because... Cause, oh, the port's terrible. There's a lot of slowdown, um, the physics are wrong, yes, really. Um, the hitboxes are off, like, Proto uh, Man is a midget in that game, for some reason. I'm trying to find the background that... Uh, I'll have to maybe play the game later and show you. Because it literally okay. has a back... It has a background that looks like literally just like Green Hill Zone. Which is kind of funny. Wow. I got sniped. Good job. You know what I wish they let you play as in the Sonic 3 Complete? Knuckles with yellow socks, man. What? That's the real shit. Knuckles with yellow socks? Yeah, he had those in Sonic 3. In Sonic and Knuckles. Because, uh, palette limitations? Because uh -huh. the HUD shared colors with the socks, so they had to make them yellow. And he was also slightly more pink in the cutscene. Yeah. So why, stop, why stop there? Why not bring back Ashura? Oh no, please. <laughs> I'm bringing back my fan character. Um, uh, his, his name is uh, Tyler. He's a... He's a but turquoise he's hedgehog, and he's got an attitude, but he's not mean. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing, Ashura isn't a fan character though. I know. He's but you, you open up the gates, man. That's the same reason somebody was like, why isn't there Amy with Tails in Sonic City? And I'm like, do you really want to make that fanfiction happen even more? Like, do you really want to do that? Like, you don't. Like, that's just a floodgate you don't want to open. Give them more reasons to write that, especially when the characters are both like, children. What? Yeah, like, somebody was like, oh, I see Tails is No, 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 how you froze on the spike with this? That was weird. I mean... Video games? Yeah, video games. But yeah, let's not get into the realm of Final Fantasy. That I mean, that stuff time. is a gold mine if you're doing, like, a no. fanfiction stream. That shit's hilarious. Like, there's... Oh, there's a lot of shit for that. My that's friend just some was actually playing... What? My friend was actually playing, uh, the video... Woo! Oh man, dude, there is, um, what's the weirdest Sonic story I wrote? There was, like, some fucking weird-ass bondage thing. I don't even know how to explain what? it. Stop! Right there, criminal jump. Do not go... Just... Do not just... Go... Do not collect $20. Do not... Do not... Just go straight to them. Mm. I've had enough battle. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, this is the thing about that. Why did they make this boss? I don't know, man. It's like the baby egg golem if it was terrible. Like, like, it's like, this boss alone makes it impossible to beat this level up. You can lose this. Wait, you can bounce off him while he's dying? Yeah. Oh. I can't wait for like DA he, Garden, man. That shit's gonna be funny. Like, he can hit you. Like, you can die off of him while he's dying. Oh, fuck that, man. Ew. Yeah. Ew! Why, though? I hate when games do that. Like, Mega mm -hmm. Man 1 has that shit, too, where if you beat Cut Man while he's throwing his scissors, they can just rebound back and hit you like, after you beat him. And I've had that kill me be- Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Sonic, you ass! Oh fuck. Oh. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh my god! Sonic, you ass! I can't believe, like... 
They had to make this level worse with Knuckles. And there's more puzzles in it too with Knuckles, I know that too. And like... And, but, I mean, the ghost makes sense, but yeah, everything else... Yeah, like, why'd they gotta change it and make it harder? Like, yeah. not even harder, just longer. I think is what they mostly do with Knuckles. I guess it's to make up for the fact that Carnival Night 2 has no boss. <laughs> what the fuck I is that? It's also probably to make up for the fact that Knuckles is no boss. Like, like he gets no death egg, and he get any he gets no stock texture. Oh, I gotta grab and that. Switch. I know I do. I mean, te technically he does, but yeah, the stock texture is just really just the boss battle. I think I have to fly back up and grab that switch, I think. Because I go down the other road, which is... There we go. Oh, no, that's... Well, you better... You better hurry up. You only got ten minutes. This was actually the first level... This was actually the second level that I found that off. Yeah, because it's like you get lost. It's like a worse labyrinth zone. Oh, wait, wait. I think I know what I have to do. Here. That platform... Alright, I think I found the, the exit here. Yep, that's it. That's it. Yeah, good. Just go down the sand route here. It should be it. Woohoo! That bullshit's over, and now it's time for more bullshit! What a great level. Very necessary mm -hmm. level. Very necessary. Especially when it comes after Mushroom Hill. Maybe I should have played it in release order so it wouldn't like go from amazing elation to getting shot in the head. Cause I mean like, <laughs> it's basically like getting a boner and then having it stomped on. Like, uh, I mean some niggas are into that shit, so... You're right. Well that's- they're all dead because they played Sand Up! Yeah. <laughs> call it- Ghost and Bullshit? That's a pretty good name. <laughs> I'm taking sand in the pants too, I like that one as well. That's what the zone feels oh. like. That was almost catastrophically bad, but that didn't go terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be fairly thankful for that one. Praise be to RN Jesus. And you know, whatever. Oh wow. Ah, uh, this is such a stream getting way too far behind. I didn't know Discord had one-on-one -on -one calls, though. I didn't even know you were calling for that. <laughs> yeah, they just added it. Because in they streamer mode, the gate, like, they don't tell you anything in streamer mode, because they're like, stay safe, friend. So if you want to have calls, you know, <laughs> don't worry about that either. Wow, I got 100 <laughs> rings in this zone. I've never done that before. Why do I fuck up everything except for Sandopolis on the stream? Whatever. You know what? <laughs> Whatever. Maybe I was destined to play shitty zones for the rest of my life. Time to go back to Sonic 1 with fucking Chip Callahan. Whatever the fuck that hack is. You know what you know probably what you should have done for the stream in order for it to make it so that I don't have I don't have to do a stream lag? What? Is that we should have we should have done net play. And I can oh. just watch it directly. Net play we should do net play fucking Sonic Classic Heroes. Oh uh, I'm down for that. If we you want to do We should also do the net play version the Sonic, look at Sonic hack. That was made to be competitive. Like, Sonic Bash? Sonic Isn't it Sonic yeah, Bash? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Sonic Bash. I, I, I think we should too. start with the classic heroes though. Maybe we'll do that after this game. Cause I don't know if I'll yeah, be able to do DA fun. Garden right away. Cause I'll probably be Sonic 3 out. Cause I love Sonic 3, but I don't know if I can play like play it twice in a row with different levels. That's a lot. Well, I mean, I think, I think the level up is the level layout is kind of pretty really fucking different, so... Oh, I know that, it's just... I'll probably be ready to stop with Sonic 3. I'm still gonna do it blind when I do do it, though. Yeah, yeah. alright, real fast. People don't know how much I love Sonic Shuffle. Sonic mm -hmm. Shuffle is my favorite party game out there. Sonic Shuffle is fucking phenomenal, and in Hudson, Hudson, the niggas who are behind Mario Party, they did a phenomenal job with Sonic Shuffle. And the game is very, very, very underrated. The reason why people hate it, they hate it because of the single player campaign, because the AI is cheating bullshit. 
But if it wasn't for the cheating bullshit AI, everyone would have liked that. Yeah, my friend said the echidnas in Sonic Adventure 1 killed all the chalice because of Sonic Shuffle. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised, bro. That's a pretty realistic like, reason. I mean, they were playing Sonic Shuffle and the chalice just bullshit them. They are like, you know what? That's enough of that. We're going to run you over now. Did I just find a bonus ring by accident? Alright, whatever. I wasn't even looking for that! Oh, it's this fucking shit again. God damn it. GG. Oh, it's the fucking pukey SPO palette. GG. But, yeah, like, Sonic Shuffle is a fucking great strategic game. It relies so much stress on our bullshit RNG. And it's like, it takes laws, like, fucking levels, uh, laws of probability into account. But no one wants to fucking play that shit. I mean, it makes me mad. The AI is bullshit in Mario Party. Oh yeah, it is. For sure. The AI is- every fucking party game ever has demon AI. I'm almost convinced that it's rigged. They say in official statements it's not. They're lying. People talk about how the government lies about shit. No, the game creators lie about shit in Mario Party. Don't tell me that. <laughs> it ain't the government, man. It's Nintendo and Sega and anybody else that thinks their AI isn't cheating. It is. Like, alright, the AI in Mario Party is bullshit, but Sonic Shuffle's on a whole, whole new level. Yeah, I've heard Sonic Shuffle AI is, uh... Alright, so you, have you played Sonic, you played Sonic Shuffle, right? I, I have not. I should probably try it, see what it... Alright, alright. So, instead of dice, right, you get cards, right? Yeah. But you don't... And, like, the cards are randomly shuffled, or the card deck is shuffled, and then you get your own little hand in the cards. So, like, you have, like, a card that, like, let's just say your hand is five, right? And you have a one, a three, you have five, and a six, right? Yeah. And the way that it works is that when you pick a card, you can only move that specific number of spaces, right? So if you use your five card, you can only move five, not four, right? Yeah. So, here's the thing, here's the thing. When you don't play with a visual memory unit, your, co your cards, wow, good job. Your cards are displayed on screen, but like upside down, right? Yeah. Right? Or no, like when your turn comes around, they're visible. But when they're not visible, you can press the X button to reshuffle it and shit, right? Mm -hmm. The CPU, right? Oh, when you run out of cards, you can pick cards from another player's hand, but because you can't see them, it's like you're picking them at random, right? So oh. that's where the. That's where the so that's where the strategy of Sonic Shuffle comes in. So like, let's say you only have like a bunch of ones, right? So you have like two ones, and you wanna you wanna move at least three spaces, right? Even if you don't run out of cards, you can still pick the cards out of other players' hands. So you can try to pick a card that belongs to somebody else, hoping that you get a piece of card. Yeah. What the Sonic Shuffle AIs will do is that they will always pick the card that they need, no matter what, and they do that shit with your hand all the time. So if they need six spaces and you have to only one six card, they, they will always pick that up 100% of the time on any difficulty level. That's incredible. Any difficulty. Yeah, and it, and it pisses it pisses everyone off because at that point they basically have three inside. They basically have three like fucking whatever the hell you want to call it. They, they just they can just see your cards no problem. This is lightning shield down there. And it's just like, well, how, how is that fair? Because you can't do that same exact shit. In order for you to even get remotely close to their level of psychic bullshit when it comes to picking cards, is that you have to understand probability. Because in Sonic Shuffle, right, they show you the discard pile. So every time a card is used, there's like a little section to the right that shows you which cards have already been used, so that you can use probability to determine the chances of someone having, the chances of you picking the card that you want, and then you can gamble on that. But only through extreme mastery of that bullshit are you able to get near the levels of fuckery that the CPU will do to you from, like, the first turn. I'm trying to remember how you do this. So, because, and the thing is, right, the unlockable levels and the unlockable characters, you have to play single-player campaigns, the story mode for it. So you have to deal with the bullshit of the CPUs in order to get everything unlocked. That's so, fun. yeah, so as a result, the game got fucking trashed by all the reviews. It got trashed really bad. What are you supposed because... to do here? I don't get Ooh, this. You got, you got two minutes left, bro. Like, there has to be a- oh, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Right, right, right. And this is why nobody likes Sandopolis. Yay. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, man, you've only got like two minutes left. Oh, I'm gonna fucking do it. You watch. This is gonna be the closest shit ever. I also don't know how to do Genesis net play, but I guess you'll show me how. I don't even done Genesis net play. So we're gonna have to figure it out together. Oh, great. That sounds like a jolly old time. I'm gonna have to do chaotic mode too, because that sounds like rubber banding fucking stupid. That sounds yeah, like that's, the way, that's the only way that I play Sonic Heroes, because without rubber banding mode, the player won't just take control of the camera all the way. Oh my god! I hope they reset the timer if you die by time mode. They do. Alright, because I have like one minute to beat this fucking boss, so I'm gonna be doing all the stupid stretch. Oh, good luck! Hurry up! Fuck! I didn't want to land on top of him. No! Oh, you, you gotta play. You gotta play calm, man. The zone is ass. No! Fucking God! Uh, Why do you keep gliding into him like that? I keep thinking one day it'll work. I'm in a rush. Oh my God! You, you dumbass! They thought this was a good idea. But yeah, no man. Sonic you, Team you is the only people that can make a good Sonic game. With. You know, I mean, I mean, really. I, if you don't have the original team back, it ain't shit. I mean, who would who would not want this to come back in 2017? Woo! Cool. I stopped gliding into it, man. You don't. Just jump. Stop gliding into it. Why are you doing this? <laughs> We're gonna run it as close as we can possibly get. Oh! There. It's done. It's done. It is done. 9.44. Eat a dick, game. See, the, the Egyptians didn't die because of time or shit. They died because they couldn't find their way out of the stupid zone. That's actually what happened. Completely true history lesson. Ah, right, here we go. We're on some real good shit now. It's actual good level. And then that happened. Good job. Yeah, you know. Maybe I'm just bad at Sonic 3. Maybe that's the I out of practice. Oh, there's nothing up there. Yeah, this zone's pretty fun. Although if you bring if you don't bring the fire shield here, you're gonna get hit like a million times. You're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, if you get the fire shield though, it's pretty easy. And then you have to keep it. I also like those smoke guys that suck your rings out. That's kind of a unique enemy concept. I love that enemy concept because it's Supersonic wasn't immune to it. Yep, it's one of the few enemies that can actually hurt Supersonic too. Well, hurt him in a sense that it can remove his ability to be super. And you know, I'll give the zone one thing. There's some annoying enemies in it, but it's not Metropolis Zone, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> with those uh, exploding star enemies that everybody just loves. So I mean, just don't, just don't trigger their proximity on. Like, sometimes I wonder, that, like, what's the point behind some of these, like, things? Like, just try to pull up a spike below it. What was the point? Of what? Like, 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 cannon-wise, like, why do you think Eggman made a platform with spikes on it like that? Just I, I really don't know. He has a weird fetish for peculiar things, like why would he just drive at you in a shitty drill tank? Especially considering it's a sequel to Sonic 1 where he's tried, like, other things like that. I actually think his IQ of 300 is something that's great. He just knows how to put things together. Well, I mean, when you're a, when you're a mad, when you're a fucking, um, an evil scientist genius, you're also fucking crazy as shit. This is true as well, yeah. I like how this stuff is, uh... 
I like the uh, wrecking balls here too. This zone in general is just cool. Oh yeah, fuck, I really got hit by shaking the smoke off. Gotta mash left and right, not use the jump. Those spikes are really stupid. Right. They're more annoying than anything else. Can you like stop getting hit by random? No, it just happens. Uh, that man is probably like in the 30s. Eggman? Yeah, he's probably about that old. Which is why you'd wonder why he's still wearing like skin tight leather pants. Cause those probably ride up his ass. I mean like... It'd be, fu it'd be funny if Eggman's whole world domination thing was really cool. Can he, can, he be a, can he be the secret fourth playable character in Sonic Mania because he's faster than Sonic? <laughs> that's, my, that's my logic that's, behind that. He's faster than Hypersonic, of all things. He's faster than anything, man. This dude's just fast as fuck. Oh. I remember this boss. Like, I'm pretty sure for anyone who decides to watch Archive will be really confused by the timing of like, things that I'm saying. Because there will be some things that will be right on point with what's going on in the game, but then a lot of the time, I'm just behind by like several seconds. Okay, I tried to spin back into the hands, it didn't work. Alright. Where the effort? Where the effort? Guess it only works on these things. The hand, you just gotta wait for it to come down and roll into it. I'm or... pretty- yeah, I'm pretty- I'm really glad that the, the, you can't just spin dash through the fucking hand when it squashes you like you can in the final boss. Yeah, because uh, the final boss of the game is kind of silly like that, yeah. Yeah, you're just like, oh, you're gonna squish me with your fingers? Let me just spin dash. Oh, you hit the center, right, right, right. You don't actually hit the fingers at all. You hit the little red thing on the hand. There we go. Eggman was gonna be the main character of Sonic. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if you, that, that actually happened? Like, the uh, the pajamas design? So Sonic was the bad guy? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sonic already is the bad guy. Sonic 06 convinced me that he was a villain when I played that game. Truly an evil character. Ooh. And there goes that. God, I love the mini box music. So well, the Sonic 3 one, anyways. Yeah, the Sonic 3 mini boss music. The Sonic and Knuckles mini boss music is terrible. I don't know why they had that. It's not, it's not terrible. It's just really forgettable. It's they got really... rid of it because of yeah, the whole Michael Jackson shit. Yeah, yeah. Alright, this is a fucking cool transition, by the way. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's great. Rivalry Factions one of my favorites. Also, Sonic Sonic was Sonic is a decent. Speedrunning game. I mean, it was pretty amazing at uh, SGZQ. They found a new glitch. Did you see it? Oh no, I didn't. I have. They found a, a fucking new glitch in that game, and it's been like ten years. Well, welcome to like fucking video speedruns, man. That's what they do all the time. I know, but that's just crazy to me. Like Dark Spine Sonic mined the fuck out of that game, and he still didn't find everything. I guess. Like that just blows my mind. I'm in a good way, of course, because you know. Mm -hmm. Evil mind blown. Oh. Oh, there's that shitty jump in the place. Yeah, shitty jump makes means you have to go the lower level. Actually, the reason I mean, it was removed in uh, Sonic Classic Heroes, they actually did. There was a changelog that told us why it got removed. They said that they thought it was just implemented to give Knuckles different routes. And I'm like, I guess that's true, but why wouldn't you keep it anyways? Because it's just a part of him now, right? Like, I mean, yeah, not only, not only that, but it's not its not like you weren't playing with other characters to start with that bad in the first place. Like, yeah. If you're playing Sonic, like, if you're playing Sonic Classic Heroes, you're not just playing one kid Knuckles by yourself. So, more than likely, you're going to be playing with Knuckles and Sonic or Tails or all three. So if the shitty jump got in the way, you would just swap characters and kill the deal. Yeah. Although, interestingly enough, it's never gotten in the way in Sonic 1, for me. Oh fuck, I tried to glide in the middle of that. There's a shield over here that I can get. If I don't- wow, that was close. That was 
Of course, I thought I killed it. Did it respawn? Whatever. Good job. The lava reef is pretty bad if you don't have a fire shield. You just get hit by anything, really. There's a lot of stuff here. On the bright side, we might beat that last special stage final. <laughs> that was a terrible run. I hope the DA Garden run that I do like tomorrow or something goes better. Are you trying to invite me back for that? Uh, maybe if you'd like. It's just I don't know if I'll spaghetti as hard uh, as I am right now. I'll probably try. Oh, you went in a complete. You went in a complete circle with that shit. Oh, I tried to get up there. I was trying to be cool. Oh wait, you can just do that. All right. Cool. No, does Knuckles have a Lava Reef boss? I don't remember. I don't think Lava Reef had a boss. No, he, no, no, yeah, he no, does. He, yeah, he does. No. He does? I think, yeah. The uh, it, it is also like a Sonic CD boss. Well, well, Lava Reef was already destroyed. We'll have to see. I don't remember if he did or not. I'm kind of sworn he. Yeah, did I don't. Before. I don't think he does. No, I think he goes straight to Hidden Palace or something. In the Sky Sanctuary. Yeah. And then you get the boss, because Knuckles' game is significantly shorter, yeah. It's shorter, but it's much harder. You guys get a really cool, unique final boss game. I will say. Uh-huh. Like, Sonic 3 and has solidified my, solidified my, my appreciation for Mecha Sonic over to Metal Sonic. I like Metal Sonic because his theme song is way, 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 but you know, I mean, I do like Mecha Sonic too. I wish he'd come back. I like Mecha Sonic a lot. Uh, did you see Knuckles just explode in the garbage? Watch. Watch. He like explodes in the garbage. What the oh, fuck yeah, is that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just Hidden Pals. With a really cool yeah. background, by the way. Mm -hmm. Bring the stage back from Sonic Mania! Ignore all the salty people who want new stages, Oni. Bring back the fucking good ones. I remember when I was a kid, I tried to, like, cheat this boss and try and hit it. But I never could. I even tried to bring Sonic in here and debug to do it. <laughs> you do. Although, in this Sonic 3 Complete, if you go into level select, you can, uh... Alright, here's a here. question for you. Is it Hidden Palace supposed to be part of Angel Island? Yeah, I know. I think that teleporter takes you off of it or something. That's my theory. Well, that was a clutch dodge. Oh, wait, you can't hit him in the behind, right? Nope. Oh, yeah, this is when shit got real. Eh! Song for my favorite song. You know, for the longest time, those were the Mecha Mecha Sonic ears for his eyes. It is cool to see a boss go super though. I think this is is this one of the only times that's ever happened. Or? That's no, that, this is literally the only time a boss has gone super. There's never ever been a boss that has gone super. Metal Sonic can go Overlord, but that's not too Yeah, that's just a 15 minute long thing. Yeah. Remind me never to do that. I I still have like to do three other things with Sonic Heroes on my channel. But consider it a playthrough on my my YouTube channel where I rip on 3D Sonic games with my friends. That's what we do. We just play them and we rip on them. But like that game, I don't want to beat it three other times. I think the, the one time I did was more than enough for me. Yeah, we got fucked up, dude. Nah, I got this. I just have to react to his scoops a bit better. I know you can usually only get one hit on him when he drops down. Unless you, uh, like, directly no. on him. You can get two. Yeah, he's really good. I might try it. But I like this song enough to prolong this. <laughs> you this shit. I mean, come on. This is 
is also the first final boss as a kid that I beat in this game. I never did the Sonic Road first. I was kind of disappointed when Sonic's final boss was just Eggman and the Robot. Cause like, this is kind of that much cooler than that. Well, that's cause you didn't get Uzi again. Oh, here we go. We got the, the dummy ring attack. Alright. Oh, yeah, that, that one that one was a bit terrifying. Yeah, it's because you wouldn't come Because you wouldn't come down. Yeah, it's like, when you're gonna be able to hit him? There we go. Yeah, I didn't get the best ending, but whatever. It went spaghetti. That was a spaghetti run. Hopefully we'll make up for it with Genesis Netplay, I guess. I like that, uh... Yeah. Alright, now we get to watch uh, Angel Island fall into the deck. Yo. Check it out. Is that a middle finger? No, he's supposed to be... That's like that's like the the sprite animation for when he's holding up the the Master Emerald. They didn't change it so that he doesn't do that pose when he's not holding up the Master Emerald. I know that, but it looks like the, like that pixel there. Uh, it could be just... just a I know, I think it's his knuckle. Nobody wants to be serious about it, come on. Fuck why why that, else would I call the boss the Egg Dick and Balls? I'm pretty sure it's actually called the Egg... something something something. <laughs> that's terribly accurate. I mean... That's how I've... thought of every boss that they named. Like, in Sonic Adventure 1, it was like... Egg Hornet, and it had like one thing related to a hornet. Mm -hmm. Like a sting. If you even call it uh, that, it's fucking drills, so it's not even a hornet at all. Might as well call it the egg fucking frog at that point. What's next? Uh, we're gonna block. Can you look up Netflix and see how it works? See if we can get this shit going. Uh, yeah, I'll look it up. We're gonna, we're gonna okay, Netflix to Classic Heroes, and it's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna be Vector, though, I'm calling it. No, because I want to play Tails! Oh! Oh, right! Does that mean I gotta be Knuckles then? Yeah, you gotta be Knuckles. Oh, yeah, because Knuckles and Tails is the thing you can do. Right? So I was gonna do it with the Chaotix. But then I was like, wait. Sag Clap, Sonic 3? I could corrupt Sonic 3. Yeah, I'll do that in the spare time. You ever hear, you ever hear what Sonic corruptions sound like? No. Oh, they're great. While you look up uh, Netplay, I'm going to do it right now real quick. That's a Sonic thing. It counts. So, do you like Sonic music? I like it too. But I like it especially when it dies. Horribly. Please, no. Oh, God. It's going to sound great. Mm. I hope you're looking up. I hope you're trying to find stuff too. Oh. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm corrupting Sonic music. Oh, my God. It's going to sound fantastic. Like, uh, let me see if I can get this shit going. We're just gonna use, uh, Sonic 3 Complete. It's a pretty good ROM for that. Oh my God. Yeah, Classic Heroes uh, has Chaotix. It's been a while since you played it, I guess. Uh, it seems like Kega Fusion can do net play. Can it do, like, is it on, like, a server, or is it... Uh, Gems can do it as well. Alright, here we go. So like, listen to this music that it's about to do. It's about to sound fucking great. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Already fantastic. I have to reset already, the game just died. Good corruption. Oh, I can fast forward on this, right? Oh, it's automatically doing it right now. Better, better uh, restart. Alright. Here we go. This is it's gonna sound godlike. Let's play some uh, Sonic 3 Complete. Alright, let me see what emulator I have. Cause I already know I have a Genesis emulator. So I think I'll just work off of that. Yeah, I'll work on whatever emulator you got and we'll see if you can get that play going on there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I have Gem. Oh, this music. Good 
good video game. I have gens for uh, my gens is for fucking uh, passing. So uh, do we have the one for net play or? Let me just let me just check out Kega Fusion net play. All right, we're gonna see how that works. This is gonna be bad. I already I already picture this is gonna be fantastic. Like I have the latest version of Kega. That's what I was using. So. That much I know. Um, yeah, is my stream muted on your end or? Uh, no, it's not muted. Are you getting doubles? Yeah, I'm hearing doubles. Ah, I turned it down, but I guess it wasn't enough. Yeah, All right. Um. There's a net play. It says start net play game, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> like. Yeah. We're gonna have to figure that out. How does this work? Would you, would you get keg, your keg of fusion from? Because I don't want to grab it from a question. Uh, fight. just their official website should work. Uh, it's pretty safe, from what I know. But I don't know how to do net play. Is there like a guide? There are some guides. All right, we're gonna have to use that. It's gonna take like port forwarding. Watch. Yeah. I mean, I, there was one that used the server. Like I had a master server because I think I'm not sure if P2P is better or should use a server for it. We're gonna have to find out. Let me see if we can figure this out and get this shit going. Uh -huh. If not, I'll just play it with the Chaotix, whatever. And I'll do better at it because it's Sonic 1. Apparently, I'm better at the worst Sonic games. So DA Garden should go better then, I hope. How do I set up a server on Kega? Right, here we go. You need to open forward UDP port 5394. Yes, do, I I do I need to forward some ports on my end? Or? I think so, yeah. It's port 5394. Well, give me a sec. i got to open up my fucking router settings. Wait, will that break my stream, though? Mm, I don't think it should. Forwarding a port. Oh. Well, I shouldn't do it, but I don't know if it will. I highly doubt it. Alright. Once you get the election, once you get that play working, I could stop. I could stop using the stream as a reference. Once you get the election, once you get It's got to be a UDP port. All right. Yep, I'm working on it. All right. Uh, adding a server. All right. And if I was feeling maximum risk, I could probably. <laughs> My PC. <laughs> All right. Uh... Uh, what's the port? Uh, 5394. 5394. Uh, what's the port? Uh, 5394. Oh, no, it crashed. Oh, it didn't. Look at that, it's working. My stream didn't explode. Alright, uh... So you have to start a server now. Although, I gotta... Uh, let me look for it, because I'm not sure if I grab Classic Heroes or not. Yeah, just get the newest one off the uh, wiki. Uh, yeah. Alright, I didn't grab it. Because I was playing Classic Heroes on Steam instead, so I just had to read Grab it. the newest one off the wiki, yeah, it should be easy. Sonic Retro Wiki? Yeah. Okay.
I like how the Sonic Classic Heroes uh, wiki is not even the first. It's not. It's, it's, it's the third uh, fucking link on Google. <laughs> that, that SEO is too strong. This is gonna be great. Woo. This is gonna be questionable. Oh yeah, you need my IP. I need your IP. I guess you have to send it to me too. That's like my public. That's yeah, my I public, think IP? public IP. Yeah. Mm. Shady, but I won't do anything with. Besides, plug it in and not display it on screen. <laughs> Let me make sure it won't display. Hang on. I'm going to triple check when I open up this window that it won't focus on it on screen. Okay, yeah, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. All right. Uh, give me a sec. I'll give you... You just have to send it to me on Discord. Yeah. After you host it. <laughs> Do you want my IPv6 or... Uh, or... I think it's 4... Alright. Assume that's the right one. Yeah. You can turn down the latency, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about that bandwidth shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that might be the wrong one. Let me try it though. Are you hosting right now? I am not hosting. I thought you were hosting. No, I need no. I, I want you to host. You can be player one. All right. Uh. Just go to the thing, file, netplay, start netplay game, and set everything up. I have to load a game first. Yeah, you have to load the game. Alright, tell me when you're apparently hosting a room and I'll try and... Uh, let me set up my controller real quick. Yeah, set up the controller, get shit ready. This is gonna be fucking great. The chaotic style cooperation is gonna be dumb. I'm just gonna ping pong off each other. So you Like, you've tried it locally and it's pretty fun, right? Yeah, I've tried it locally with my wife. Pretty good. Yeah, you might want to turn off my stream now too. So it doesn't like lag. Cause that'd be bad too. <laughs> I don't want to know what laggy Sonic would be like, besides terrible. Oh, I heard that. Alright, create that room. Just say start net play game, and then when you click create, it'll say, uh... What, it sh what do you think the latency should be? Uh, whatever you think would be appropriate. Maybe, like, 50? Okay. Or 30 or something. Something like that. Uh, I want with 50. I need to pop out. Uh... No, I think IPV... I think that, sh that IP should work, but if it doesn't, then... Not a big deal. Alright, so... I, I created it and I'm waiting for you to join. Alright, let's see if I can get this shit going. Oh my god, it worked! Holy shit! Alright, start. Click the start thing, let's do it. Hold up. Closing up Firefox. This is gonna be horrendous, but maybe enjoyable for some people. <laughs> Somebody will like this somewhere. Alright, this is... Oh god, I can't believe it worked. Alright, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that's... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. that's a, it's a little laggy. That's not a big deal. Alright, but the video isn't working on my end. You can't is see the video screen? working? Like, it's just, it's still on the Sega Splash screen. Is it changing Woo! music? Oh god! What did you do? I just pressed that because nothing is showing up! <laughs> what? Uh, hold it up. 
Hold up, hold up. Wait, I need to reset this. I yeah, that... to... Oh, God. Well, I mean, I was... I was Tails. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not like... Hold up. Oh, the hard reset. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, wow. Uh, never mind. I was just having issues on my end. Uh, power off. So, like, is it not displaying, period, or...? Like, it just... It, the, the video... The visual is locked up at Sega, and then now that's just what's happening. It's still happening for you? Yeah, like, it just... Like, it just kept showing Sega, and that's it. But, like, is it working now, though? Uh, I'm restarting it. Like, I mean, like, you try it without going on that play and see if it was just a, an emulator issue, or...? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. That was amazing, though. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna start up Netplay. Alright, we're gonna do that again? Tell me when you're hosting. That was hilarious. But... Hosting. Alright, let me load up the ROM here. Join. Alright, I'm in there again. Alright. And it crashed. <laughs> Maybe I should host. Maybe you should host. Let me try that. Alright, how do I get my IP? Oh, I know. I just... IP config, yeah. Uh, no, that's your local IP. You need your public IP. Oh, I, can, I know where I can get that then. Refresh me on where I can get that again. Uh, what's my IP? Oh, that one? Okay. Here. This is mine, I'll tell you when I'm hosting. I sent it to you on Discord. Alright, let me get this shit going. That was pretty great, I will admit. Off to a great start. Very good net play, yes. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try that. Alright, I'm hosting now. So, uh, load up your ROM and... Don't worry, Pichu, you only missed, uh, everything. You missed the terrible Sonic 3 run that will hopefully be amended tomorrow. And it crashed. <laughs> and so I don't, I'm not sure what the hell is up with Kega Fusion on my end. But it's acting like, like a bitch. Try restarting it again. I'm gonna have to find a different Genesis Netplay then. Uh, apparently Kega Fusion is the best one, so... Oh, we gotta keep trying. I refuse to give up. This concept is too good of an idea to throw away. <laughs> Maybe it's the kind of thing I'm doing. Yeah, I'll do that. Here, I'm hosting. Let's try this. Every again. time I hit, every time I paste the fucking, every time I hit Control V to paste the IP, the fucking shit crashes. Maybe you should just manually type it then. I shouldn't. Have. Oh God, <laughs> Discord just made you explode. Alright, just, just. I put it in manual. Uh, I, I tried to, as soon as I typed, it crashed. <laughs> Are you using 3.64? Really, <laughs> I'm so confused. That's weird. Emulation General Netplay, Genesis Mega Drive. Let's see what we got here. This is very weird, really. Gens, we can use that one. Yeah, we can. P2P. Uh, Gens 2.14, I guess. Let's try that. It's right here. i link it to you right here. Let's do that one, then. That's the one we're going to have to use to get this to work, because that was embarrassing. I don't know why it... Alright, funny. Bandwidth funny. limit Let exceeded. Me... Okay, so the download link just doesn't work. Are you kidding? Do you have to go wow. to the source forge? Like... Alright, it let me type in the IP address, so try hosting again. Okay, that was amazing. Let's try this again. Alright, let me load my ROM. Let me get my netplay start. Uh, Alright, it's created. Try it now. Oh! Oh, okay, let's do it. And it crashed! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck this shit. Do you already have gems on your PC? Uh, no, can you, like, 
send it to me on Discord or something? Woo! Do you have the 2.14? Is that the one you have? Like, what version is it? Oh, that was mm. funny. That was bad. It keeps crashing. Damn, we had we thought we had that shit unlocked. Are you are you trying to use uh the P two P emulator? As uh, well? we can use general Kyler, but P two P might work. No, I meant like this on top of it. Uh, what do you mean by that? So uh, you probably need. It says that you can also use uh that client in order. For, for net play. Uh, just send me what you got and we'll work it out. Mm. I'll figure this thing out. Mm. Ooh, what a time to be alive. I know you think that would work, but damn it, Kega. <laughs> I'm mad. That could have been great. It now could have we, been. Now we have to wait this shit. We should use the P2P Kyler client, though. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I agree. Do you have it, though? Uh, I'm about to grab it. And what version of Gens do you got? Oh, this one. And you uh, Paradise? Yeah. yeah. Let me pick that thing up, and then we'll get that Kyler client set up. This is, this is going to be a lot better, I think. I'm going to fix the volume on it, too, before I start streaming, so it doesn't destroy my audience's ears.